I'm gonna open my page back up and you can see that the cell padding what it's gonna do is it's gonna make sure that the writing is 10 pixels away from the sides and from the top so from the walls of the cell it's not gonna be able to come within 10 pixels the writing or the images within that cell it's gonna all kinda get nicely squeezed towards the middle so when I hit refresh you'll see that so I hit refresh and now each cell has at least 10 pixels of padding around it and I can also go and I can make this cell padding say equal to 30 and you'll see a real difference we hit save go back to our page hit refresh and it squeezed it even further in the middle now with cell padding also comes cell spacing and that's just another thing depending on the table you may or may not want to use cell spacing so here we can say cell spacing equals and again I will start with 10 go to file and save and what cell spacing does make sure this is typed correctly <laughs> and let's save it again what cell spacing does, let me show you on the graph here on the page it's going to make sure that there's see how there's two lines really close together it's going to make sure there's 10 pixels in between each cell and you're going to see that in a second so let me hit refresh now you see that it's putting a spacing between all of these cells so you can use combinations of cell padding and cell spacing to space out your cells and distance things apart from each other so if you have a lot of writing and you want the writing to kind of be separated real nicely you can use cell spacing and cell padding now I'm going to show you how to take this cell and give it a black background and make the number one in white lettering and let's go ahead and do that so cell one let's go back to our hand coding and here is cell one TD till TD closes so to make the background black we just enter a new attribute and it's called BG color equals BG for background and we go to our color chart which is in the recommended links section and we look for black and black happens to be just six zeros so we go and we hit pound always remember the pound and then count zeros one two three four five six and file we save that and let's just go check to see what we did and you'll notice it now has a black background the letter one right now is typed in black so we can't see it so we need to go change that to white so how do we change the color of text well it's the font tag so let's put a font tag in and then we'll go after the one and close the font tag because we only want it to be white for one now in the font tag we put an attribute and that's called color equals now the color is black was all zeros and white happens to be all F's so one two three four five six F's and we're telling by starting the font tag we're saying color equals white because the all F's are white and then the only thing inside the font tag is one and then we close the font tag so then we stop telling it to be white so go to file save and let's go here hit refresh and now we have one is in white in a black cell so we could turn our table into like a checkerboard if we wanted to alternate uh, between white and black cells now I want to show you something else what if we wanted to combine cell 7 and cell 8 um, what that is called is cowl span and I'll I'll show you how to do that in a minute but if we want to combine 7 and 8 what we do is we get rid of 8 and then we tell 7 okay take up the space of two columns so here's a column here's a column here's a column if we have to get rid of cell 8 and then we tell, tell se cell 7 hey go ahead and take up two columns so then 7 can move over so that's what we're going to do in our coding so we go down to the coding and what did I say get rid of cell 8 so I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to eliminate it delete okay now inside the TD the seventh cell we need to add the following attribute and the attribute is called 
cowl span. Why is it called cowl span? Because we're going to span two columns. So it's cowl span equals, and then our quotation marks, and two columns. So go up to File, select Save, and when we go here to our web page, we hit Refresh, and now we see 7 takes up two columns. Now similarly, if we wanted to combine rows 3 and row 6, and we, want, we would want to do a row span, and we want to span across two rows, so if we wanted to do that, we got to get rid of column 6, I mean cell 6, and then we want to take 3 and tell it to do a row span into the next row. So if we eliminate cell 6 and then we tell 3, hey, go occupy cell 6, 3 is going to do a row span, and it's two rows, because here, it's, here's a row. The first row is the top, the middle is the second row, the bottom is the third row. So we want cell 3 to take up two rows. So we go to our hand coding. And I said we had to eliminate cell 6, so let's eliminate cell 6, delete, and we go to cell 3, and we do a row span, row span equals 2, because we want it to take up two rows, file, save, and we go up to our web page, and we hit refresh, and we notice that 3 is now occupying these two cells. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to insert images with hand coding.